Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jugs, and welcome to the episode 2 of my How to Play the Scout Guide series. And I was initially going to do this series in order of importance of skills that I think that are most valuable to a scout, but then I just decided to scrap that and feed you guys your demands and give you an episode based on how to improve your aim or your accuracy. And uh, I get asked this question a lot, you know, Jugs, how do you aim so well? Uh, you seem to have a really, really good shot in all games really, especially in TF2 with the uh, the scatter gun. And uh, you know, I, I make jokes all the time about being the best shot in NA and uh, it's actually my catchphrase, uh, you know, pro tip don't miss, a lot of you guys are familiar with that. It's something that I used to tell myself back then when I wasn't such a good shot, uh, is that, you know, it was just really a matter of focus and when I would tell myself that, it's kind of like back when I played basketball, it was like just telling yourself, just get the ball in the hoop, stop thinking, stop overthinking, because you know what to do, and uh, it's just about executing and let it, letting it feel natural to you, and you'll get to that point later on, uh, or maybe you're already at that point now, but one thing is to just stop overthinking everything, focus, eliminate all distractions around you, things touching your feet, noises going on around you, and let it only be you and and the game and you'll find that when you have zero distractions when you're not talking or doing a live stream or this and that your accuracy, your accuracy is immediately going to improve you're going to land a much more a much higher percentage uh, of your shots but if you're not already at that level and you do need to learn how to aim better then there are a few things that I think I can help you with regarding that so let's get into it the most important thing to becoming more accurate I think is Finding the appropriate sensitivity for you, and it's completely arbitrary. It is extremely different for everyone, and the sensitivity that works for me may not be the one that works for you, may not be the one that works for your friend, etc., etc. It's completely arbitrary, but in order to find it, you should go into your Windows mouse sensitivity and move that slider around to a level of of comfort that you prefer and uh, then after you do that then you want to tweak with your mouse's DPI if it has a DPI setting and move that as well to you're comfortable with it and then lastly obviously the end game sensitivity and I trust that I don't need to walk you through how to do all those things uh, they're pretty self-explanatory only you can really know how to get into your mouse's DPI but um, anyways the sensitivity so what should you pick what what should you emphasize more because you know it differs in every game in Call of Duty you may throw away accuracy a little bit for a faster sensitivity to be able to turn around on a dime because it's a spray happy game all it really takes to kill somebody is to be able to see them first and so being twitchy is more important in that game than accuracy really uh, so you know in that game it's better to have a higher sensitivity one that you may not necessarily be comfortable with but in this game, if you're going to play the scout, it's not only valuable to be very twitchy, but it's also more valuable to be accurate, to be landing your shot. So you want to place emphasis on that the most. That means playing on a sensitivity that's lower than what you would like to be on and making sure that you're landing all of your shots on that sensitivity uh, and then moving on from there once you feel like it's too slow and you're not getting enough of a challenge and you need the faster speed. And, uh, you know, you really just want to make sure that you can turn 180 at a reasonable, you know, uh, amount of movement, but not, you don't want to make, you, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to turn 180 by the, you know, the touch of a mouse. That's a little too much. Just make sure you have the ability to turn 180 if you need to, but at the same time, it's slow enough that you can trace your opponents and you're not constantly over flicking them. And uh, that's really the biggest thing that's going to help you become more accurate. Once you get comfortable with that, then you can move it up and continue to move it up. But for me personally, I stick to 1.8 and uh, I haven't moved it since then. Well, what else can you do? Well, you can pay more attention to the movement of your of the different classes in this game. Meaning, adjust your your the way that you aim based on how fast the mobility of the enemy that you're facing is. So if it's a slow moving character, then you can feel free to just just you you know flick away you're gonna hit whatever you need to hit especially if it's a large target like a heavy but if you're going up against something like a scout and you guys are strafing it off in a kind of like a mating ritual dance in front of each other then it may be better it may be in your best interest to just let go of the mouse entirely well not entirely obviously but don't depend on it instead depend on your the the fact that you're strafing and that's going to move your crosshairs where you want it to be versus moving your crosshairs with your mouse Next, understand that in this game, 
unlike most military shooters that you play, if you come from military shooters like uh, like arcade military shooters, you'll know that you never ever have to aim up. You never have to flick up and, and shoot something above you. So those muscles are in, in your head are not adjusted to, uh, to, to aiming up. And in this game, there are going to be a lot of times where you have to aim above you because a scout is going to be jumping over your head or a rocket is uh, a, uh, a, a soldier will be rocket jumping above you or somebody might get air blasted or a demo man might be sticky jumping the 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 list goes on people are going to be above you a lot of times in this game and you really need to just get comfortable and pay attention to that make sure you have ample space on your mouse in order to flick up if you need to adjust the vertical sensitivity uh, to something that's appropriate for you because if you come from military shooters you'll know that everything is really on this horizontal plane and you never really have to aim vertically but it's going to be a quite the shock to you to hop in a game like TF2 or Quake and uh, you know struggle to shoot something above you because you've never had to move your hand that way and that's just that's just muscle memory you'll get that over time but it's something to pay attention to you can usually decrease the amount of time it takes to learn these 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 skills that just come from playing the game over time by paying attention to them and when you really think about it then you get used to it and then it just becomes you know subconscious thought kind of like how you first have to pay attention a lot to driving and then over time it's just it's just second nature to you you can just drive and have a conversation and wonder after you get to your des your destination how the hell you even got there because you weren't even paying attention but it's just it's just second nature to you this next bit is going to sound kind of stupid but it's true you need to know where you're going before you fuck up and you know start shooting randomly everywhere because you can't control your own accuracy with the speed that you're moving and i see this all the time in 1v1 scout matches just calm down slow it down place emphasis on your accuracy versus your mobility and then once you get comfortable with your accuracy then you can start being a little faster start strafing a little more turning a little more and so on next thing that i see a lot of people do wrong and it's something that i used to do myself all the time is panicking. Uh, you want to understand that that you can't panic with your shots, especially as a scout, because the really the difference between hitting and missing is is minimal. It's almost non-existent. I mean, you either hit or you miss, or even if you're you know even if he's in within your crosshairs and you shoot, but he's not all the way in the middle, you're probably gonna get like four damage, nine damage, and so it's really important to stay focused and to not tell yourself that you're gonna die if you're going up against a class that you're not comfortable with just understand that it's just another person on the other side just like you and no matter how godlike they can be they will make mistakes and it's really just up to you to minimize your mistakes and take advantage of their mistakes and one way you can do that is by not panicking create panic in them and you often find that as you put other people in low health you have a little more liberty to be more more uh, I guess uh, carefree because they're going to be making a lot more mistakes. They're going to be panicking and running away in a straight line uh, when really that's the worst thing you, you can do as a scout is run away in a straight line with low health because it's really easy to kill you in that situation. But that is something that a lot of people do and it's something that you should take note of. It's all about focus. You really just want to eliminate all distractions and panicking is a major distraction. And obviously when you're shooting at another character model, you want to make sure you're aiming for center mass. Uh, if you really pay attention, you'll notice that every character model in this game, or almost every character model in this game, have has really, really broad shoulders. And that's where you're going to get the most registered pellets on your scattergun spread, is by shooting obviously at center mass. So that's another thing to take note of. The last real tip that I can give if I haven't mentioned this already is to play faster paced games than TF2. And uh, if that means playing Quake, then play Quake. Play it a few times. Just let yourself play it enough to kind of get sucked into the pacing of the game and land a few shots in that game. Then hop back in TF2 and understand how slow everything is. Even weird games like Serious Sam, as long as it's faster, it doesn't have to be a better game. Just understand if it's faster pace, requires accuracy, play that game and get used to it get decent at that game and then come back to tf2 and you'll see the scout in slow motion it feels like he's not moving fast enough you're gonna wonder where's the turbo button that's how i felt after playing some serious sam 3 and uh, that's something you guys can do as well
And that's pretty much all the advice I have to give on improving your accuracy. There are other things to know as well, but I feel like what I told you guys, the bulk of the information that I told you are the most important things to take note of when improving your accuracy and everything else just really just comes with time or self-explanatory. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed this gameplay commentary and found this series informative or helpful. And if you did, then make sure to leave a like and a favorite and a comment as well. And thanks for watching, bros. See you guys next time on the next episode. Peace out. This has been Jux.